Harriet Watt University is a public research university based in Edinburgh, Scotland. It was established in 1821 as the School of Arts of Edinburgh, world's first mechanics institute and subsequently was granted university status by Royal Charter granted in 1966. It is the eighth oldest higher education institute in UK. The name Harriet Watt was taken from Scottish inventor James Watt and Scottish philanthropist and goldsmith George Harriet. Harriet Watt was named International University of the Year in recognition of its global presence and impact by The Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide 2018. In 2020, the university ranked among top 300 in the world by Times Higher Education World University Rankings. The same year, the Complete University Guide ranked Harriet Watt at 35 in UK, ahead of several Russell Group universities. Since its foundation, the university has maintained strong ties with the neighbouring University of Edinburgh for teaching and research. Known for its strength in science and engineering, it is one of the 39 old universities in the UK comprising the distinctive second cluster of elite universities after Oxbridge. In the latest Research Excellence Framework, it was ranked overall in the top 10 of UK universities and first in Scotland for research impact. History School of Arts of Edinburgh Harriet Watt was established as the School of Arts of Edinburgh by Scottish businessman Leonard Horner on 16 October 1821. Having been inspired by Anderson's College in Glasgow, Horner established the school to provide practical knowledge of science and technology to Edinburgh's working men. The institution was initially of modest size, giving lectures two nights a week in rented rooms and boasting a small library of around 500 technical works. It was also oversubscribed, with admissions soon closing despite the cost of 15 shillings for a year's access to lectures and the library. The school was managed by a board of 18 directors and primarily funded by sponsors from the middle and upper classes, including Robert Stevenson and Walter Scott. It first became associated with the inventor and engineer James Watt in 1824, as a means of raising funds to secure permanent accommodation. Justifying the association, school director Lord Cockburn said, "...the building shall be employed for the accommodation of the Edinburgh School of Arts, whereby the memory of Watt may forever be connected with the promotion, among a class of men to which he himself originally belonged, of those mechanical arts from which his own usefulness and glory arose." In 1837, the School of Arts moved to leased accommodation on Adam Square, which it was able to purchase in 1851 thanks to funds raised in Watt's name. In honor of the purchase, the school changed its name to the Watt Institution and School of Arts in 1852. Topic: <laughs> Watt Institution and School of Arts. Harriet Watt's time as the Watt Institution marked a transitional period for the organization, as its curriculum broadened to include several subjects beyond mathematics and the physical sciences. While the School of Arts had catered almost exclusively to working class artisans and technical workers, the Watt Institution admitted a large number of middle class students, whom it attracted with new subjects in the sciences, social sciences, and humanities. By 1885, the skilled working class were no longer the majority in an institution that had been created explicitly for them. A shifting class makeup was not the only demographic change to affect the student body, as in 1869 women were permitted to attend lectures for the first time. 
This move put the Watt Institution some way ahead of Scottish universities, who were only permitted to allow women to graduate 20 years later following the Universities Scotland Act of 1889. The decision to admit women was made in large part owing to pressure from local campaigner Mary Burton, who later became the institution's first female director in 1874. In 1870, the Watt Institution was forced to move following the demolition of Adam Square. After a brief period on Roxburgh Place, it relocated to the newly constructed Chambers Street near where its former site had stood. The move caused the institution severe financial difficulties, which were compounded by a combination of declining funds from subscribers and increased costs from its growing student body. In 1873, the directors turned to George Harriet's Trust for support, and agreed to a merger of the Trust's endowment with the institution's own. The proposed merger was provisional to changes in the structure of the Watt Institution, which would see the organization become a technical college with representatives of the trust in management positions. Accepting these changes, the Watt Institution officially became Harriet Watt College in 1885, and was subsequently on far firmer financial ground. The Watt Club The Watt Club was founded at the Watt Institution on 12 May 1854, and is today the oldest alumni organisation in the UK. Following the unveiling of a statue of James Watt outside the institution, local jeweller J. E. Vernon proposed that a club should be formed whose object would be to sup together on the anniversary of the birth of James Watt, and also to promote the interests of the school, by raising a fund each year to provide prizes." Watt Club medals are still awarded by the organization each year to Harriet Watt's most highly achieving students, while the Watt Club Prize is awarded by the Watt Club Council to recognize student initiative and enterprise. Harriet Watt College After the establishment of Harriet Watt as a technical college, the new management committee set about extending the institution's buildings and strengthening its academic reputation. In its new form the college was one of only three non-university institutions in the UK with the power to appoint professors, and the first of these was appointed in 1887. In 1902 the college became a central institution, while in 1904 it introduced awards for graduating students which were similar to university degrees. Expansion meant that the college made increasing demands on George Harriet's trust throughout the first part of the 20th century, which ultimately led to the independence of the two bodies in 1927. While the trust continued to pay Harriet Watt a fixed sum each year, from then on the college was responsible for managing its own financial affairs. Harriet Watt continued to expand after becoming independent, opening a new extension in 1935. Both world wars impacted on the speed of the college's expansion. During World War I, student numbers dropped as young men joined the army, while teaching and engineering stalled as the department was used for the manufacture of shells and munitions. During World War II, student numbers dropped again and the electrical engineering department became involved in training the armed services in the use of radar. After the college introduced a postgraduate award in 1951, it offered awards equivalent to university degrees and doctorates in all practical respects. Recognizing this, in 1963 the Robbins Report recommended that it should be awarded university status. On 1 February 1966 the recommendation was enacted, as the institution officially became Harriet Watt University. Harriet Watt University 
The first personal chair was appointed in 1974, while Harriet Watt continued to expand in the centre of Edinburgh after attaining university status. The institution had grown big enough that relocation was felt to be desirable. In 1966, Midlothian County Council gifted the Rickerton estate north of Curry to the university, and in 1969, work began on transforming the site into a future campus. The process of relocation to Rickerton continued until 1992, with teaching and facilities divided between the new campus and the city centre until this time. The university has continued to grow after completing its move to Rickerton, constructing additional student halls, a sports centre, and a postgraduate centre on the site. The institution also expanded beyond Edinburgh, merging with the Scottish College of Textiles to create a campus in the Scottish borders in 1998, opening a campus in Dubai in 2006 and a campus in Putrajaya, Malaysia, in 2012. In recent years, the university's campus in Edinburgh has benefited from major infrastructural projects worth £60 million, with another £68 million worth investment announced. These include the UK's first purpose-built graduate centre 6 million pounds, Scotland's elite Orium Sports Performance Centre facility 33 million pounds, and the UK's first FlexBio flexible downstream bioprocessing centre 2 million pounds. It is also constructing a 5,000 square meters watt innovation building to boost creativity and ideas generation on the university's growing Edinburgh campus, and has plans to host a major £65 million film studio and a £2.5 million academic partnership with the oil and gas firm Total SA. However, in 2017 it was also announced that a major budget shortfall and the impact of Brexit would result in Harriet Watt shedding 100 jobs. Campuses Harriet Watt currently has five campuses, and also runs distance learning programs through 53 approved learning partners to students around the world. <inaudible> Edinburgh Harriet Watt's main campus is located in Rickerton in south-west Edinburgh on 380 acres of parkland. The campus consists of, academic buildings, student residences, a postgraduate centre, shops, several library collections, childcare, healthcare, a chaplaincy, a variety of recreational and sports facilities, and a museum, as well as the student union's main premises. It is also home to the Edinburgh Conference Centre and Europe's oldest research park, Harriet Watt University Research Park which opened in 1971. The university's Institute of Petroleum Engineering is based at its Edinburgh campus. Topic: <laughs> Scottish Borders. Harriet Watts Scottish Borders campus in Galashiels is home to the university's School of Textile and Design. The school began life in 1883 when the Galashiels Manufacturers Corporation began running classes in practical courses for its workers. The institution gradually grew both in terms of student numbers and the number of courses it offered, and it ultimately became known as the Scottish College of Textiles in 1968. In 1998 the college merged with Harriet Watt, leading to the creation of the School of Textiles and Design in its modern form. The school is one of the few fashion schools in the world which offers a menswear course at bachelor's degree level, and the only school in Scotland to offer a fashion communication course. It was ranked 11th place in the UK for art and design in the 2013 Complete University Guide, produced a winner and five other finalists for the Scottish Fashion Awards Graduate of the Year in June 2012, while the Scottish Borders campus shares some facilities and administrative functions with Edinburgh, it is largely self-contained. 
as well as its own library, accommodation and catering facilities, it has its own branch of the student union which runs events on the site and is home to a collection of textile records and artifacts. A new £12 million student village opened at the campus in September 2012. The entire campus is shared with Borders College, whose students make up the majority of those who study at the site. Dubai Harriet Watt's Dubai campus opened in 2005. It was the first British university to set up in Dubai International Academic City, offering a range of undergraduate and postgraduate courses similar to those found in Scotland. The campus facilitates student exchanges between Britain and the Emirates. It has facilities including a library, catering, computer access and shops. An expanded campus opened in the city in November 2011, allowing double the number of students to study for a Harriet Watt degree in the city. <laughs> Malaysia Harriet Watt University Malaysia's purpose-built campus opened in Putrajaya in September 2014. 35 million pounds was invested in the Malaysian campus, which is the first green campus in the country. It is situated in a lakeside location of 4.8 acres offering undergraduate as well as master's degree. Topic: Orkney Harriet Watts Campus in Stromness, Orkney, is home to the International Centre for Island Technology part of the university's Institute of Petroleum Engineering. The campus provides education to a small number of postgraduate students and is host to eight members of research staff. Topic organization Harriet Watt is divided into six schools and one institute that coordinate its teaching and research, the School of Energy, Geoscience, Infrastructure and Society, Incorporating Petroleum Engineering and Renewable Energy Technology, Architectural Engineering, Civil and Structural Engineering, Construction Management and Surveying, Geography and Urban Studies, the School of Engineering and Physical Sciences, Incorporating Chemical Engineering, chemical chemistry, electrical, electronic and computing engineering, mechanical engineering and physics, the School of Social Sciences formerly, School of Management and Languages, incorporating accountancy and finance, business management, economics and languages, the School of Mathematical and Computer Sciences, incorporating actuarial mathematics and statistics, computer science and mathematics, the School of Textiles and Design, Edinburgh Business School, which offers postgraduate courses at MBA, MSc and DBA level, the Urban Institute, which is a research collaboration for urban studies between Harriet Watt University and the University of Edinburgh from 1 August 2016, the former School of Life Sciences was merged with other schools, with programs transferred to the School of Management and Languages, the School of Energy, Geoscience, Infrastructure and Society and the School of Engineering and physical sciences. Topic: Academic profile. Topic: Rankings and reputation. Harriet Watt University was named International University of the Year by the Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide 2018. Harriet Watt is known for the strong prospects of its students, with 80% in graduate level jobs or further study six months after leaving the institution. In 2011, Harriet Watt was named as the Sunday Times Scottish University of the Year 2011 2012, with the paper emphasising the employability of the institution's graduates. In 2012, it was again Scottish University of the Year 2012-2013 for the second year running, and also became UK University of the Year for student experience. 
The same year it came first in Scotland and fourth in the UK in the 2012 National Student Survey, Times Higher Education's Table of Tables is the combined results of the three main UK University League tables, the Good University Guide published by The Times and The Sunday Times, The Guardian and The Complete University Guide. In the Table of Tables 2015, Harriet Watt was placed 27th in the UK and third in Scotland. It is ranked 28th in the UK by the Complete University Guide 2018 and 26th in the UK by the Guardian University League Table 2018. In a 2015 detail report on UK universities, Durham academic Vicky Bolivar placed Oxford and Cambridge in the first tier, and included Harriet Watt in the second tier made of the remaining 22 Russell Group universities and 17 other pre universities. In 2020, Harriet Watt was ranked at 314 by QS World University Rankings and at 251 to 300 by Times Higher Education World. University rankings in the world. It was ranked 243rd in the world for engineering and technology by QS rankings in 2019. It was ranked 143rd in the world for technical sciences in 2018 by Round University ranking. In 2017, Business Insider ranked Harriet Watt the third best UK university to study economics. It was ranked among 201 to 250 globally for business and economics by Times in 2019. In 2018, ARWU ranked Harriet Watt globally among 51 to 75 for telecom engineering and 101 to 150 for civil engineering, mathematics and oceanography. Nationally, the university is ranked highly for planning and building education. In 2019, the university was ranked fourth in UK and first in Scotland for town and country planning and landscape design by the Complete University Guide. It was also ranked ninth in UK and first in Scotland for building and town and country planning by The Guardian in the same year. In the 2019 The Complete University Guide National Subject Rankings Harriet Watt had the following rankings, 2nd of 34 Building Education, 17th of 104 Accounting and Finance, 15th of 81 Art and Design, 14th of 30 Chemical Engineering, 23rd of 60 Chemistry, 24th of 56 Civil Engineering, 25th of 110 Computer Science, 22nd of 7 77 economics 23rd of 68 electrical engineering 15th of 72 mathematics 14th of 69 mechanical engineering and 25th of 48 physics and astronomy the university has been constantly ranked among the top 10 universities in UK for building education since 2010 topic Admissions As of February 2017, approximately 13,700 students are enrolled at one of Harriet Watts campuses, 66.6% .6 in Scotland, 24.2% in Dubai and 9.2% in Malaysia. In the Scotland campus, the university has a female-male ratio of 41 to 59. Topic. Masters in Strategic Project Management Under the framework of the European Education System and as part of the Erasmus Mundus programme Harriet Watt University offers a Masters in Strategic Project Management jointly with Politecnico di Milano Italy and Umea University Sweden. Students in the program study at all three institutions over two years and at the conclusion receive degrees issued by all three. The program ranks number 11 in the EdUniversal Best's Master's Ranking and number 25 in the QS World University Rankings Worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> Student life Topic. Student Union 
The Student Union at Harriet Watt is a student-led organization headed by individuals elected from the student population. The association has represented students both locally and nationally since its foundation in 1966, and is a member of both the Edinburgh Students Forum and the National Union of Students it is also responsible for running the university's student union, which runs events for students and supports student societies. Over 50 societies currently exist, including the Brewing Society which organizes an annual charity beer festival. In addition, the Student Union runs several services at the Edinburgh and Scottish Borders campuses including catering facilities, a nightclub, an advice centre and a student shop. The Student Union also works closely with the Harriet Watt University Dubai Student Council and the Harriet Watt University Malaysia Student Association. The Student Union recently won the University Student Union of the Year 2018, and Officer Team of the Year 2018 at the NUS Scotland Awards 2018. Sports Union. The Sports Union is responsible for the university's 30 sports clubs and runs annual social events for students involved in sport. As with the Students' Association, the organization is headed by elected Harriet Watt students. Notable alumni Topic Arts Theodore S. Clerk, 1909–1965, City Planner, first Ghanaian architect and developer of the port city of Tima Sir Nicholas Grimshaw born 1939, architect of the Eden Project, president of the Royal Academy since 2004 Sir Robert Matthew 1906 to 1975 designed the Royal Commonwealth Pool and founded RMJM Patrick Nutkins 1930 to 2004 academic and writer on architecture Sir Basil Spence 1907 to 1976 architect of Coventry Cathedral and the New Zealand Parliament Building nicknamed the Beehive in Wellington New Zealand Sir William Kinnanmont 1904 to 1988 architect of Adam House and Pollock Halls both in Edinburgh Sir James Dunbar Naismith born 1927 conservation architect and head of ECA's Department of Architecture 1978 to 1988 Rab and Denise Bennett's founders of Bennett's Associates John McCaslin architect Kaigo, Norwegian DJ and record producer Dame Muriel Spark, British writer, took a course in commercial correspondence and precy writing at Harriet Watt College John Thompson, pioneering photographer Deepak Tripathi, historian and former journalist Irvine Welsh, British writer of the novel Trainspotting Greg Wise, British actor and producer Joanne Yeo, Malaysian violinist and music lecturer at University Putra Malaysia Gary Yunj, writer and journalist <laughs> Academia and science Ian Bakey, physicist winner of Swan Medal and Prize Christina Miller, chemist James Naismith, inventor of the steam hammer Sarah Tabrizi, neurologist Business Robert Buchan, British, Canadian businessman, founder of Kinross Gold Corporation Adam Crozier, British businessman, chief executive and television executives, chief executive of ITV Roger Jenkins, British financier, former chief executive of Barclays Private Equity, principal investments and structured capital markets 
Bob Keeler, British businessman, chief executive of Wood Group. Michael Lombardi, Canadian businessman, founder of Lombardi Media Corporation. Ian Ritchie, British businessman, founder of Owl, missed WWW opportunity of Tim Berners Lee. Topic: Politics. Nathif Jama Adam, Somali banker and politician. Sarah Boyack, former MSP and Minister for Transport of Scotland. Ingvald Gödel, former member of the Norwegian Parliament and former chairman of the Norwegian Support Committee for Chechnya. Bernie Grant, British Labour Party politician, the Member of Parliament for Tottenham from 1987 to 2000, Britain's first Afro-Caribbean MP, did not graduate. Fiona Hyslop MSP, Cabinet Secretary for Culture and External Affairs in the Scottish Government Hassan Ali Kerr, Somali politician, Prime Minister of Somalia Archie Kirkwood, Baron Kirkwood of Kirkhope, former Liberal Democrat MP Mark McGregor, Conservative Party politician Brian Monteith, former Conservative MSP Teo Ho Pin, member of the Singapore Parliament Henning Scumsville, member of the Norwegian Parliament Graham Watson, former MEP and President of the European Liberal Democrat and Reform Party Lord Mike Watson, Baron Watson of Invergowrie, former MP and MSP Sports Jock Clear, Formula One engineer Keith. Swaz. Fraser, Olympic skier, graduated 1991 with M. Eng in civil engineering Lee Jones, current member of the Scotland national rugby union team Shirley Robertson, TV presenter and double Olympic gold medalist Jack Ross, British professional footballer Gordon Shedden, British auto racing driver Other Liam Burns, NUS UK President 2011–13 Fiona Watson, Political Affairs Officer Notable staff Thomas Hudson Beer, Chair of Mechanics and Engineering, 1887 to 1889. George Murray Burnett, FRSE, 1921 to 1980, served as Principal 1974 until 1980. Andrew John Herbertson, Lecturer in Industrial and Commercial Geography, 1896 to 1899. Topic: Principles. Sir Francis Grant Ogilvy, C.B., F.R.S.E., 1886 to 1900. Arthur Pillins Laurie, F.R.S.E., 1900 to 1928. James Cameron Smale, Obe, F.R.S.E., 1928 to 1950. Hugh Brian Nisbet, C.B.E., F.R.S.E., 1950 to 1967. Robert Allen Smith, C.B.E., F.R.S., P.R.S.E., 1968 to 1974. George Murray Burnett, FRSE, 1974 to 1980. Thomas Lothian Johnston, PRSE, 1981 to 1988. Sir Alistair George James McFarlane, CBE, FRS, FRSE, 1989 to 1996. John Stuart Archer, CBE, FRSE, 1997 to 2006. Sir Vito Antonio Muscatelli, CBE, FRSE, 2007 to 2009. Stephen Kenneth Chapman, CBE, FRSE, 2009 to 2015. 
Richard Andrew Williams, OBE, FRSE, 2015 present. Topic. See also. Edinburgh Business School. Harriet Watt University F. C.